Hi guys, I'm Dave for those of you that do not know me and today we've picked up one hell of a Christmas tree. Check it out. It all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I'd followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Everyone's been asking about merch. So we've got some hoodies and some t-shirts just in time for Christmas. Um, link is below down in the description. We don't do international at the moment, but in the new year, hopefully we'll be all sorted. UK only for now. So Andrew has called this project, Project Dano. And this is our Gen 5, Gen 5 LT1. And it's packing smooth horsepower. About 460 and I don't know what more to say other than it's refined. Do you want to hear it again? We do. Yeah, go on. Doesn't even upset the coat. Not sponsored by Coca Cola. Yeah, Coke haven't sponsored this video. Or any affiliation. So after last week's setbacks with the loom, after you saw the last episode, Darren and Eddie have been busy on this truck. So this is Project Goliath, named after the very famous lifting bridge in Ireland. This is owned by a guy called Stephen, and beautiful build, and 
I'm going to show you what we've done this week. So wait right there. Just listen to that beauty. So this is not refined. This is not refined like the LT1 I've just shown you. This is a 450 horsepower LS3. This is definitely going to liven up Stephen when he gets it back in Ireland. So we're hoping to get it back to him as soon as we possibly can. Maybe not this Christmas, but we're going to do our best. So this 90 came into us from a good client called Matthew. And on the cappings here, they're actually rotten all the way through. So we've gone with the Galf cappings. And when Matthew was here, he looked up there and saw Ethos on the wall. And he said, I, he said, Dave, I want a Keswick version of Ethos. So I said, right, we'll whip all the cappings off. We'll get the crusty ones off. I'm going to put you some fixed windows in. Look up there, same as Ethos. I'm going to put Galf cappings on the back. So this is going to be a bit legacy ethos bit of a mix and a twist but what we're about so make a classic and pushing it back to the classic cars okay these are never going to rust guys the galva is going to look after them and they'll be future proofed we've gone stainless rivets so we're not going to body color these just keep it authentic and keep it classic and then this car is going to be having a limestone roof we're going to have some lovely banded steel wheels so they're going to be limestone as well with some bf goodrich standard spec as you know what we do guys we're going to go silver billet on the hinges someone conveniently put those hinges upside down and it's beyond me how someone can do that but they've done it funny enough we're going to go billet handles nice touches we're going to go galvanized steps galvanized sill rails it's going to look it's going to look apart when it's done guys so keep following and you'll see the transformation from tacky to tasteful there you go you see the tree Mm. Have you seen the tree? No. Almost. Almost.
So Mark, it's a pretty nice seat you've got there. Uh, what are you doing exactly right now? Well, obviously I've just uh, final fitted it onto the frame now. And so now I've got to start taking the wrinkles out, the imperfections, uh, steaming it to regenerate the foam and to smooth the leather out basically. Um, to put a bit of moisture in the leather to basically iron it out, iron all the imperfections out to make it look even better than it already does. Cool. And is this the only time in the process of making the chair that you would steam uh, it? Yes, well, so say yes and no. You can use steam and heat to help uh, make it more pliable when you're stitching it together and stuff. But for final fitment and for it to, to get it presented ready for the customer, um, yes, yeah, steam is probably one of the final things we get to do on it. Uh, and then we also use the heat gun as well to draw more moisture out but we can do we do that over a couple of days um, it's not just a quick process it can take up to take up to a week really um, to get it finally done it's just presentation and pride of our work basically So this is Project Beach Beauty, Jürgen has decided to call this and check this out. So when you open the doors, the steps will automatically drop out. Pretty cool, eh? Right guys, today we're doing a bit more on Project Dumbo. Um, at the moment, at moment we're doing some uh, side steps for the sides, carrying on the theme uh, with the bumpers, we'll show you what we've got going on. So the drawing we got given with this car, um, some big tubular front bumpers, so that's what we're doing. And that's going to follow around the sides and the back, and it gives it that sort of Icelandic kind of I don't know, the, you know, the big Icelandic monster trucks that go up hills and stuff, it's that kind of vibe. So, yeah, so today we're doing the side steps. Um, on here, we've got his automated steps. So when the door opens and shuts, they'll go down. And then when you shut the door, it'll go back up again. That should be fairly cool, but to trim it up, we're doing a bit of a three inch tube down the sides. Um, once his uh, side sort of sill bits come, these will bolt through and sort of live there, kind of. Oh, I'm in the way, aren't I, Ben? Yes, you are. That's better, isn't it? You can see what we're on with now. So, yeah, so they'll bolt on through there, roughly so. Um, and then, yeah, it just gives the, the side step something to fold up into, really. So. Yeah, getting there bit by bit really. And for anyone that wants to learn how to notch tube without any fancy machines, just a mark a pen and a grinder, you might as well tune in on Tuesday and I'll show you how. See Bruno? Uh, just been stripping down some more uh, swivels and and whatnot. Really, just getting through, getting through the axles, getting them ready to be sent off to the Mr. Powder Coater. Make them, make them nice and 
nice new looking. So yeah, just this is all that all the remains so far. Sweet. So these are all axles that you've taken off vehicles that have yeah. come to you, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So what would you do then? Would you resell these or uh, recycle usually them? they'd they'd get powder coated and we'd we'd keep them here ready for a new build, build them back up again with all new parts, new swivels, new yeah, lots of new different things and back on the trucks they go with new arms. So Nicky, what have we been doing this week? Um, making an exhaust for the 330D conversion. The downpipe, 76mm, 3 inch, stainless steel, heavy duty, robust. Uh, we have been purging these systems, just for longevity basically, and just doing a proper job. So what does that involve, the purging? process uh, in layman's terms using these little bungs and putting argon pure argon inside the pipe so when you're welding it, it welds welds the inside it doesn't go all coat all sugary like this one so we're looking at those on the joints on the inside where it's gone a bit yeah all coked up right it's it's lost its um stainless properties really right so the idea behind the purging is that we're effectively sealing it exactly the same, both inside and outside. Yeah, the weld you see there is the weld that's on it on the inside. Let's see if we can get in there. So, so see it on the inside there. Nice. And then we can show that looks exactly the same as the outside and the centre section is going to be a valve system it's got a valve a bypass valve when it's closed it'll go through a silencer just for a bit more roadworthy quietness and when you want that little bit of extra noise the vacuum will open the open the valve and it'll go straight through there to the rear then so what we're looking at Nicky uh, the valve inside Works on a vacuum system, so it's either open or close, whatever you want on the button. A bit more noise or some quietness.
look like me. Spit an image. So guys, that's it for another episode of Maker. Thanks again for watching. Putting this up was a mission and I'm struggling to stand upright because it's dropping below minus. Anyway, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like, guys. Share it with your friends and we might give away some more goodies. Anyway, have a great weekend. Thank you very much.